don't see him. Oh, there he is. I found him. Straight ahead. Welcome to Dorsta. I'm Pino Gri at Zion Fuel Station with Monty Ausgleich to get the full Monty on PvP. Let's go! So Monty, there's a lot of different fighting video games and stuff like that. What makes PvP stand out for you? Uh, for this type of uh, PvP, I very much like it because mm -hmm. it, there's a lot of uh, basically camaraderie and stuff like that. We have two sides typically fight against each other in massive mm -hmm. team battles. So it's always very you know, large scale uh, fights and stuff like that. Much like this area here. We always have objectives we have to go for and that's always mm -hmm. very fun. But also it's the community itself that I like as well, basically. Every Everybody else is uh, very nice and always, I should say, uh, charismatic <laughs> is the uh, <laughs> term I'd use. It's a really fun uh, community. The fights and shenanigans we get into afterwards. So that's always fun. So I see you're here in your custodian armor. Is there, uh, is it only 40k uh, or is there a lot of other um, IPs or settings that go on? Yes, there are quite a few out there. There's the 501st uh, Clone Troopers and Stormtroopers mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Star Wars, yeah. There's the Daleks HQ. There's mm -hmm. also, um, yes, some Doctor Who. There's Lolly Police, uh, where they're fun PvP events. There's are Fantasy. Are they PvP? I've seen them arrest people in public for Lolly Police, yes. but I haven't. Yes, they do. <laughs> Actually, some Dorsta members have got arrested. Yes. They do, in fact, <laughs> kill people. Boss yes. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. They... Uh, must be American police. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, yes. I think that is but, um... American sex, yes. <laughs> uh, they do oh, have a uh, very... <laughs> Yes, they do. <laughs> There's the regular military PvP stuff that has mm -hmm. basically the Russians, the Americans, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. uh, Canadians. Canadians? The Can Canadians <laughs> are... Yes, uh, that's an entire thing. <laughs> the Canadian uh, military is an entire thing now. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, they are one of the larger ones. Actually, it's, it's surprising. Mm -hmm. I think it's because they got started oh. first, but they are a very large group. Well, um, it's cold for a long time and lonely in Canada, so... <laughs> yes, needless to say, they do need uh, some way to express their inner rage. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, they, no get, they, they, they clearly... <laughs> They don't, clearly don't do that uh, <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> oh. Okay, is there anybody we're not going to offend today? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> cut, cut, <laughs> so, uh, Monty, it's not really my real question, but what was, what's the proper name of that Canadian group? The Sovereign Order of Canada. <laughs> I guess that's what they were called, but from now on, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to call them the bullet hosers. <laughs> now, I know 40k is a very in-depth universe, and making an avatar is really um, kind of difficult. Does a person who's joining PvP need a lot of knowledge about technical matters or the lore of the setting and stuff like that? No, it really comes down to as long as you know how to use your controls and you can fire a gun, you, you can join you don't really need to know mm -hmm. any of the lore or anything like that even if you because really uh pvp is um very universal is very much is just a uh like a first person shooter sort of thing so mm -hmm. if you're on desktop or if you're on vr or if you're exploring some weird uh contraption and stuff like that to play this game as long as, mm -hmm. as you know how to use your controls you're fine oh, so the bar seems pretty low to enter do you guys do community events as well as uh, fighting events? We do have community events, yes. One event that we're are going to be working on maybe later on is going to be the community war. And that's going to be basically where different groups and stuff like that are able to pretty much go into each other's uh, events and stuff like that and start a fight, like training events or pre-existing battles. 
All of a sudden, uh, mm -hmm. we are going to do like a large announcement, but that's really up to the uh, PvP council. And those are nice. those oh, guys yeah. are going to be the ones that, that like announce. Okay, everybody's ready, free for all, and it really is oh, wow. kind of wonderful time because uh, you get to see absolutely everybody going nuts with technology and stuff like that like everybody mm -hmm. upgrades their models and you don't really have the same sort of balance we always try to keep so that way everybody's the same range and can still actually compete with each other when we have a community event when we have the community war and stuff like that it's going to be basically a, a whole lot of chaos and a whole lot of uh, fun because we're going to be trying out new things, new uh, models, and uh, new fighting styles too. I keep hearing this out of the Warhammer players. You are, are a loyalist, but you keep talking about how chaos is fun. Does it worry you that you might get involved in an Inquisition? No, I'm too loyal to the Emperor. As much as okay. I do love having a good fight and stuff like that, it really is more along the lines, not so much chaos it's more along the lines of glory so oh, that's just right. more what it is mm, that's how chaos gets you then your own hubris what's yes. your favorite game mode my favorite game mode would have to be um capture the point capture the point capture is always point? very good i'd say being able to ca have both sides starting off in very far positions and then trying to gain ground mm -hmm. and hold a certain position for uh, an extended period of time uh, how long you're able to hold it, hold on to that position is determined by how many troops are able to literally stay in that position for oh so long. Takes a little bit more coordination than just randomly running around shooting. Oh yeah, definitely. It does take a bit of coordination and stuff like that. We do have squad comms um, in Discord, mm -hmm. and we do try to make sure that we can uh, coordinate and stuff like that. If somebody doesn't have squad comms or something like that, some factions and stuff like that like to basically say just keep running towards that point to capture it now and you'll be there and then you know you have people like the war leaders that are basically like rip and tear kill all and make sure that point is soaked with blood mm. and stuff like that I... so well, basic military coordination sounds good what do you think about uh you and me having a fight do you think you could take me mm. That is to be determined. I haven't seen to how you fight. To be determined! Let's fight. I'm gonna butter your biscuit and eat you for breakfast. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose to him, I'll eat my pancake. That makes you fat. I'm, look at me. I can have a pancake or two. Oh, that was the start. Healing crystal, that's good. Oh, there he is. I found him. Straight ahead. Shooting over him. Gotta shoot a little bit lower. Okay, then we're gonna bring him across. He's expecting me to run around, so I'm going to go over the top. Ha! I got him. He's backing away. Oh, that's his tornado. Tornado? No. That's cheating. He's using space magic. Where'd he go? There he is. Shot wolves at me. We gotta get around the tornado. Retreat! 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 Run away! Run away! Okay. That's, that is, that is a little scary. Can I, can I go down there? No. <laughs> oh, this way. You can't have two tornadoes, right? If I take this bridge across, we can get a little bit closer. Okay. I have more options here, but I've lost where he is. I think I see him. I don't want to get too close because he's going to hit me with a stick. There he is! I'm down. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, 
keep him, sh keep him from moving. Here we go. Ow, I'm hurt. <laughs> Healing crystal, yes. Give me. Oh, this healing crystal is a life lifesaver. Oh, I got hurt again. That is very annoying. Let's go around. Shooting space missiles at me. He has magic missiles, he has a tornado, and he has dangerous dogs. Okay, this guy is going to be decisive. I'll attack him fully. And... Ow, ow, oh, That is not good. I'm close to dying. I'm much... Alright, time to attack. Where is he? He's over there! Here. If he stands in the open, he's not gonna like it. No, he's by the healing crystal. That's bad. There's healing crystal over there. This one, this one. Yeah, there's one right here. I'll heal. Get some cover. I'll heal and I'll attack him. Good. Whoa. I think I can make the jump. <laughs> can he spook you? situation. I'm embarrassed, I'm running away, and I'm back where I started. Yeah, full frontal attack time. That's enough of this. <laughs> this is more of a support model anyways, so it's not necessarily, you know, full frontals. <laughs> that was my first time participating in a PvP event, um, and even though Monty cheated with his space magic and I lost, I still had a lot of fun. Uh, I highly endorse it and recommend it. Uh, look in the description for the Discord link to, um, or the link to the Discord server for the PvP server, and uh, check it out. But fair is fair. I did say that I would eat my pancake. Um, mm, mm. Oh, it's cold. Mm. But it's still buttery. Mm -hmm. Got syrup on my fingers. Oh.
Yep. It takes practice. I wish Thanks to see how watching. you develop in the future. Oh. It takes practice. I wish to see how you develop in the future. <laughs> so, uh, Thanks I'm sorry. for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Little ad lib. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video!